Welcome builders, Andy is Yoda here. Welcome back to another tutorial on this channel. This is a little rustic house complete with a water wheel. If you want to build it, this is the big list of ingredients that you will need. And I'll put a link to that list in the down below. So here's the house with lots of vegetation around it, which really does bring it to life. Upstairs, we have quite a big space for storage, maybe a workshop back there. A huge fireplace that could be made a bit fancier if you wanted some actual glass windows kind of fancy at the back a nice looking ceiling and you can look down onto the big shaft coming from the water wheel there uh, there is a little uh, ladder I guess which takes you down into the basement this is how you would get to it normally through here there is space for storage in here it's a little dark in here isn't it let's maybe slap in a little bit of a lantern or two and you can see there's tons of storage down here as well and then it would be up to you guys to decide what happens to this where does that go what does it power what sort of machinery can you make I don't want to teach you to do everything you got to do something on your own so that is it so that is it with the greenery on but here it is the greenery all completely stripped off and that's what we're going to learn to build today the back of the house as i say is fairly plain so if you had a little hill back here that would help to disguise the plain area at the back otherwise just slap some trees in and you'll be fine okay how do we build it well we're going to need to do this little basement shape here first of all and that looks complicated so we're going to break it down into bits so the first thing to do is to dig out this rectangular hole and this is 21 by 12. now the blocks i've chosen are cobblestone mossy cobblestone or stone brick and it really is a complete mixture and it's entirely up to you what you do place so in this 12 by 21 spot here what you want to do is first of all place some blocks here in this corner so one two three four five six blocks there again it's a choice of cobblestone mossy cobblestone or stone bricks or even mossy stone bricks would be great at that level another brick in the corner and then one two three four five and then block miss one and then we're going to go one two three four five so that's a gap of five block gap of one five uh, this can all be uh, grass right up into there that is grass don't worry why it's red so that is a line of grass and then here we've got a line of other blocks one two three four five six seven eight it should take you right to there okay starting in this corner uh, we're actually going to place a block doesn't matter what it is and then count that as one two three four five six seven and then two turn in the corner like that where should we go next let's go here um, this is going to have to be a staircase so whatever blocks you want for your staircase so we've covered one two three four five blocks so far but we need to go six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so there should be a gap of five blocks right there Okay, so counting along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the ninth block, we need to come up another one, two, three, four, five, and then make the shape that you can see there. One either side to make a T shape, and then another couple of blocks on there. Miss a gap of three here and make a little L shape, one, two, three, like that. Now we need to add to this to put the extra little bits on the side. So we want to do a count of four here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take this all out like that. And then we're going to go along here with more blocks. So take out this whole row here. And you need to put in some blocks. So whatever you like, I'm going to do kind of some mossy cobblestone some stone bricks and some cobblestone for the rest so that should go one two three four five in the way like that here we need to add on another five blocks as well one two three four five same across here one two three four five we're also going to have a line going across the way here one two three four five six seven and again this is just going to be a complete mixture of blocks whatever you like yeah maybe mix in some mossy stone bricks as well i haven't done that at the basement level take out all this like that 
our round here, we want to take out that block and then put two blocks here and here. Again, anything you like. Over here, we need to extend this by two. I can wrap it round. So again, choose your blocks wisely, whatever looks good to you. So that is extended. And now the last little bit over here, we need to go for, hmm, let's see. So I think it's going to be, let me just double check. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five there. And one, two, three, four, five there. Yeah, that is, that is correct. Okay, so we're gonna have a block there and a block there as well. And then we're actually gonna come in here with a block. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And same over here. One, two, three, four, five. Take out all this. And that is pretty good going. You will need to put in some sort of basement floor. I've chosen tough blocks for my basement floor. And I've got some nice tools here which I can use to make a floor very quickly. But tough is pretty easy to get. And that is the basement pattern complete. Next, we're going to finish the basement walls and you should be able to see that we're just adding on one, two, three blocks and building up some archways as well. So let's get that done. So I'm going to follow the outline that's in blue. It shows me where all these blocks should be. Again, it's a mixture of mossy cobblestone, stone brick, mossy stone bricks and cobblestone. So follow that little area there. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward. And then same here, bring that round like that. And we're just following the wall actually all the way around. Complete mixture of blocks, whatever you feel like looks good for your basement. You don't need to restrict yourself to the blocks I'm choosing. Choose, choosing. Here's some interesting ones. Dead bubble coral block. We think they look absolutely fantastic. Stick that one out there like that. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total like that bring it across that starts to form our little doorway into the basement bring that across there and the middle bit gets moved up as well so that is that one level and then you can see the next level is pretty straightforward as well with the extra little complication of a little slit a little arrow slit window going to be in there oh and also we form a little space like that also this is going to be pretty ordinary until we get to another arrow slit window. That's going to be the bottom part of the window. And then we just follow around the whole wall, building exactly what we've just been doing. Mixing up your blocks as you go. That is going to be the tower in the corner. And you can see I've used more dead bubbly coral block. So adding on another level. Once you get to here, you can see we've got two upside down stone brick stairs. One, two, and then the third one's a stair, and that starts to frame the door. We have another door frame here to do as well, and another one right there. So that is two levels of the basement to go. One more is needed. So where should we start? Let's start right here. Again, mix up your blocks. I mean, I didn't mix them up there very well, did I? Mix up your blocks. Here is an upside down stair. So that on top of the correct the way up stair gives you a little arrow slit there and then just keep following along put in that teeny tiny window and the rest of it just builds itself a nice mixture all the way around just follow what you've been doing before and there we go there we go there we go that completes the basement what I do want to do is add on I don't know, a bit of a chimney as well, actually. So we want the chimney to be over here in this corner. So to do a little bit of a support underneath in the basement for the upper um, fireplace, we need to do four blocks just like so. Complete the top there like that. Now we're going to need some cobblestone staircases and they go underneath upside down just like that and then we'll stick um, one like so like that that's pretty good right now it is time for spruce log time and let's bring these spruce logs all the way along here and this is going to be the ceiling 
of the basement and also the floor of the room above. Hmm, what else should we have? Let's have a bit of ceiling like that going across and then I'm also going to go across at this kind of square junction in the middle like that and it just kind of makes some floorboards and some rafters. Mm, we'll have this come right through from the middle. Like so. And then where does this finish? Ooh, not that far. We'll finish this right about there. Pretty good. Right, what we do want to do is add on oak slabs. Now, I like to do upper oak slabs when I'm doing a floor slash ceiling because underneath it just looks so nice. A little bit of depth there. I think that looks awesome. So these actually need to go absolutely everywhere in all these spots. So be right back when that is done. Once that is done, we need to add on two more blocks. Two more blocks? <laughs> Six more blocks in three rows just to add a little bit of extra bit at the back there for the chimney. Next, we're doing a little bit of work on the front to make a little landing stage and a staircase up. And as you can see here, we need to place some stone bricks or mossy stone bricks around here like that. And you can mix in other blocks, obviously, as well. Nice, solid uh, staircase foundation and some stone brick stairs. Mossy stone bricks are good as well. Mossy stone brick stairs. Here we've got some spruce fences just to surround this little mini staircase and I've got a solid block there as well it's going to hold up a little colorful awning uh, the level above that we need one more fence block right there spruce fence goes nicely with stone bricks I think what do you think here we've got some mossy stone bricks I tried to use most of the mossy blocks towards the bottom of the build where it might be a little bit damper Okay, complete the staircase like that, and then we're going up again. Now, there are some sneaky blocks involved in this level. So first of all, let's pick off the easy ones. One, two, three, like that. And can you see, we've got upside down stone brick stairs. I actually really love doing this, and we'll show you why in just a second. That completes the staircase just like that. I have used, I think, spruce upper slabs, so top spruce slabs. And then here I've had fun with something I don't do very often, just making kind of a little bit of an awning out of, let me just switch off light matica, out of these things, Therapidorus Maximus, oak trapdoors. Now, why do I like these little upside down stairs? Because look, it gives your basement a little bit of light coming in these holes. I actually think that's really, really cool. And it is actually fairly effective, although you should, like we did at the very start of the video, put in a little bit of light inside your basement like that. Stop the mobs from spawning. Okay, fantastic. Now we need to go on to the upper walls. So these main walls, once they're done, it's actually not much left to do in this build. We're going to do five levels. You can see my ghost image here. One, two, three, four, five. So it's really just this big cross shape here. Actually pretty straightforward. Again, you want to do a nice mixture of blocks. I'll show you that mixture of blocks that I've got over here. So we've got andesite at this level creeping in, dead brainy coral block. We do have some stairs to make more of these little slit windows. So watch out for that as we build. Andesite, stone bricks, cracked stone bricks. Is that all we've got at this level? I think that's all I've used at this level. Oh, here is some dead bubbly coral block as well. If you don't have that ready yet, you could just use andesite or maybe even calcite or diorite would look good as well. Okay, let's crack on with this. So we've got all the blocks ready. Um, let's follow the pattern. We do want to leave a little gap here of three for the door. So let's get this bit over here done first. There we go, little L shape there, okay? And then a gap of three, and then we just continue around following the floor plan below. Always above the cobblestone and other blocks below, coming around. We leave a gap for the chimney, and the chimney builds up with cobblestone there and there to start with. Keep on going around. 
around the little tower as well. At this stage, you can start to put in some ladder blocks as well. I'm going to keep on going around, and that's as far as we're going to go on that bit there. I do have a little bit of a fence going across there, stop you falling down into the machinery. Always helps. Help out of health and safety. Up to another level, and here we start our little arrow-shaped window. And we've got two of them, actually, facing the same direction. We need to form a little archway just there. We keep on going, so one, two, three, and then it's into more window blocks. And another window block right here to make the bottom half of that arrow slit. That leaves us with this corner to do, and upside down cobblestone for our little fireplace. Keep coming around the corner, and I guess in the second block along, you've got the start of the arrow, and that should match up with that one right there. We have a glass pane for the window there, and I've put that two blocks from there and three blocks from there. Another glass pane at the back here, right in the very middle. Again, keep your random blocks going. Good texturing is the sign. That's what we're doing, texturing. Having all these different textures just makes a build really stand out. Another window here. So where is that window? It's right there, one block in from that tower shape. Complete that bit and that bit, and then we're on and up to the next level. One, two, three, four blocks there, and then we're forming another doorway with upside down stone brick stairs. Keep coming round the build, complete your little arrow slit windows. Keep coming round. That completes that shape there, very satisfying upside down block upside down two more arrow slit windows at the side very fortified defensive house this as well but so cool so rustic i absolutely love this design there we go one uh block ah right so this is the um the fireplace again so i do my fireplaces like this you could do a different design if you want but we are going to be adding on the bulk of the fireplace at the back a little bit later on that is what my fireplace looks like keep going round complete this window as well and it should be exactly opposite that one keep going our window panes are two blocks tall keep coming round the corner and then on and then we're on to the tower now the tower has got some arrow slit windows in as well so the hard work continues with them that window needs to get finished off and then we're around the corner again all right, the next level should be a lot easier because there's going to be no windows in it. So we just whack this level out. We just keep going around. Mix it up, change your blocks, do the best. Also, don't make it completely random. Try and group them in twos and threes if you can. I think that looks a lot better if you do that. Um, the window arrow slit just gets completed like that in the, in the tower. And we keep on going. So we need to do one more of those levels at this stage. This should be pretty straight straightforward. We'll start at this corner, and this should just be a question of blocks. There shouldn't be any windows, shouldn't be anything confusing, just your random selection of nicely textured blocks all the way around. If you do build this, I'd love to see a picture of it, and the best way of showing me is if you join my Discord, discord.gg forward slash Andy Zora, and you can post pictures of your builds into the public channels okay we do need a little um doorway through into the storage area this is a little storage area here in the build but well done if you've managed that so far that is the bulk of this build complete hmm next we should finish off the chimney i believe so we're going to do a count of 13 let's start here well, um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen same on the sides bring them all the way up to the same height you can slam your head off the ground like that if you wish it is up to you <laughs> and then one two three there one two three and on top of that place some cobblestone stairs gets you that little shape there uh, let's put in a campfire there so that it looks like a fireplace and then we'll have a campfire just there we are going to be having this block come up to contain the fireplace like so 
And then what I like to do at the top of the fireplace is just some upside down cobblestone stairs. Now, there are a lot of fancier designs you could do. That is up to you. There we go. My chief builder, Sarasvin, she's got some amazing designs for the tops of chimneys. I keep it simple. It is up to you. There we go. Right, what should we do next? We've got that little side bit there and that little side bit. Let's maybe tackle this one right here. In Lightmatica, which shows you where the blocks are to be placed. If you would like to download schematics and Lightmatics of my builds, then do consider becoming a YouTube channel member or one of my Patreons. If you, if you prefer Patreons, patreon.com forward slash Andy Isiora, and you get all my worlds, kingdoms, schematics, and downloads as well. Let's start with a little bit of carpet here. I've chosen green and lime. <laughs> no, I haven't. Red and lime carpet. And I guess we're going to have some just here as well. Why didn't that one place? Ooh, because we need another fence post right there. And then it will actually... Can it place? There we go. I think that stands out. It does give you a nice pop of color for this build as well okay again a random selection of blocks all the way around for completeness let's put in our little storage system as well and bump it up to the next level now we've got a couple of windows in the next level and i've put mine the third block in and the fifth block in from the side that's where i've put my windows you could put them anywhere you like maybe even make bigger windows maybe even put windows at this end as well i decided not to and just keep it kind of covered in uh, on this side i've gone for more of these uh, arrow slit type windows at the back as well okay a couple of more chests as well Ooh, and i've also put on these which are supposed to act like window shutters i don't know what that's meant to represent but i just thought it looked cool okay moving on <laughs> okay again we just go up again with all the main blocks all the way around complete your little arrow slit windows oops facing that way and then i've got some more of these trap doors like that and these are just going to represent the shutters moving swiftly on the next level is pretty easy a nice again a nice mixture and blend notice the dead brainy blocks i absolutely love them cracked stone bricks stone bricks and the site as well and don't forget we've got some whatever these ones are dead bubbly coral blocks as well moving on up oops moving on up we're going to be let's concentrate on this end part so we should have five blocks in the middle with some stairs at either end let's keep on going and then three stairs at either end one block in the middle stairs and stairs and is there another block yes there's a slab an andesite slab on on top so bringing that back down, you can see we've got some, whatever that is. Sometimes you just can't remember the block. It is spruce stairs, obviously, on both sides. Um, on the inside, I have done these. Can you tell what they are? If I go down here, you'll be able to see they're upside down oak stairs. And I think that just provides a much better experience once you're actually inside the build. On to the next level, we're going for another row of spruce stairs. And then we've got this big spruce, uh, ooh, that didn't go well. Nice big spruce log coming right through to this stage here. And that is that whole end section complete. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So plain, so rustic, just good looking. So this little corner next, it is pretty straightforward. So you should be three blocks above the ground. And then you're just going to go for another layer like this. Nice random selection again. Keep that texturing going. Okay, uh, up again. This time mm, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Let's do this whole gable end. We're going to go for stone brick stairs on the end. Let's bump it up to a three stair and stair and then it should go to a one shouldn't it like that with stair and stair same as that other end and then should be a little slabby on top take the lightmatic down and we can see it's very very easy we've got these 
spruce stairs and then again upside down oak stairs like that more spruce stairs more spruce stairs um oh this is an a spruce spruce log right there and then we've got to finish things off spruce slabs on top so that's what you should have so far like that one two three four blocks up and then one two stairs and a slab on top we can keep on going up the way and we'll do this gable end here now there is a little window in the middle and that is made of a gate as well i think what's happened here with this one is we do th that yeah that's that window there with a little bit of a oak trap door with a spruce gate at the front above that we're going to go for one two three four five stone brick stairs on the end Ooh, we've got an, a little spruce trap door right there to do keep on going it's a three we've done this shape before haven't we and then it's a one with two slabs either side that time so that one was a little bit different great progress okay so we've got some more gable ends to do and a roof to put on in this next section just spotted a bit we didn't do over there we didn't do this did we spruce slabbage let's go that completes that okay so this is the bulk of the build to be finished once you've done this honestly seconds left in this build one two three four five you should be five blocks up here and then we're ready to go so what do we have we have, we have uh, just a regular row of your mixture along there okay same across here regular mixture same on the tower that just continues to get higher we are on to more arrow windows at this point you need some more blocks across here and across there okay and then we're ready to just go on with these beautiful spruce staircases and let's just do them all the way around so they sit nicely on top of the walls same across here one two three takes takes you across to the tower and can you see what i've got behind these i've got upside down oak stairs all the way around it just looks nice when you're on the inside looking up at the ceiling covers up that spruce wrap it around the tower like so okay great let's bump it up another level okay so we've got one two three four five blocks there it'll be the same across here i bet and here one two one two and then either side of them you've got your usual stone brick stairs you could pick other stairs i mean andesite stairs would look good i'm probably a little bit lazy not maybe going for some andesite stairs if you had andesite stairs it would kind of tie in with that block there that would look fantastic do make the effort to do that if you can another layer i think it's the last layer of spruce stairs and it's actually easy to place them because they sit nicely on the upside down oak stairs another advantage of doing those oak stairs like that the tower continues its journey up the way and it finishes off that another arrow slit in the tower as well looks really really good especially the bit of light coming through okay so we do have some upside down oak stairs to do like this i think i've just realized i've missed some out as well can you see i have not finished my job oh my goodness so there's definitely some to do over there let's switch off that and just place these in by hand so when you're on the inside looking up it just looks looks great looks like a proper ceiling highly recommend you do that there we go okay so let's switch on lightmatic back up again add on another layer so oh we do have another layer of spruce to go three blocks there we've got stone brick stairs at the end let's just complete this a block a block a block and yeah that's fine okay so round here the same thing one two three stairs stairs and then it's block slab slab ha <laughs> okay over here as well we've got 
stairs block block stairs and I think there's nothing above that no there isn't there's little slabs there to do as well so don't forget them cool let's go down a level because we've got another layer of spruce stairs to do you guys are gonna have to be chopping down your spruce trees of course you grow you grow those giant spruce trees don't you? you get loads of wood off them there we go that is definitely the last layer of these spruce stairs all the way up and as you can see from the inside we've got a little gap there and that is going to be filled with beautiful spruce log coming all the way through and ending up right at the chimney same across here and that means your build is now weather tight and at that point you can bring in things like this can't you you can bring in your own little lighting system torches on the walls lanterns hanging down whatever you like the furnishing of this build is up to you what i will do very quickly while we're here while we're here my favorite go-to door just a nine nine spruce trap doors and then replace that one just looks so good same down here Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Close them all. Destroy those two, and you've got a little spruce door like that. That looks so cool. I love it. Right, where were we? Where were we before we got distracted with doors? Ooh, we've got another level to do on the tower. Like that. And I think we've got a little bit of spruce slab to do along here. And that completes the roof okay so we're going up with the tower again your tower should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve blocks so far let's see how far it goes up 13 and then we're on to that one there which has got a little kind of a, a window gap and that window gap is it's got some spruce fences another complete layer of blocks like that and then um, i'm going to switch this off and just do this without light matica i like to go around my tower tops like this very very simple indeed so that is oops what have i done that is upper spruce slabs lower spruce and then like that would you like to see what Sixer did? We had a little go. Sixer was helping me design this as well. Um, that is Sixer's tower. <laughs> if you want to go really, really fancy, you can. And look at the gable ends as well. Ooh, you can go quite fancy with this build if you want. I've kept mine deliberately plain. Sixer has really jazzed that up as well. Isn't he clever as well? And of course, when it sits there in terrain, oh, look at the ruin. It's so cool. And Sarasvan had a wee go over here as well with another kind of little rustic house. And she has designed the water wheel as well. This is the water wheel which we're going to be putting onto our build. So that's a little glimpse behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed that. Right, where have we got to? Aha, just here. Next, we need to improve this little porch area. So grab yourself some stone brick walls. We'll go here and here and then right up against the wall spruce fence gates in between and a couple of these just going up and i've put one there you could put one there as well if you want but i didn't i don't know why i didn't i just i just didn't okay i just didn't and then you've got to go with these creative players we're all the same give us a block that's supposed to be used for having a nice campfire and we think ooh, make it into a little bit of an awning for somebody's house it's getting a little bit smoky in here so can i grab a tool <laughs> just to put these out next we're going to do the well really cool well design by sixer did that amazing tower and sarasvan improved the well design so you can put the well kind of anywhere i put mine round about here it's such a nice well so well done to sixer for building it and sarasvan for improving it as well actually uh, you need to do this with two barrels two spruce 
trapdoors and then two spruce fence posts either side it's a very very quick design and then three barrels like that the spruce trapdoors they go actually underneath like that and ooh, chain they didn't get chain chain blocks go underneath a couple of them one and two and then some temporary blocks to help with the railway. This is the bit that Saracen worked out, so you don't need world edit for this. You're gonna do that, but just extend these railways like that. This one just goes continually over. Knock away your temporary blocks and you get such a cool looking well, I love it. Right, now it is time to work on the water wheel. So one of the first things we want to do is just take those blocks out and then we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs like that now we are going to need to dig out a bit of an area here for the water wheel this would be kind of up to you how much of an area you dig this out <laughs> And you will notice when you do that, you expose some dirt. So really what you want to do is just cover up that dirt as if the foundations are really digging right down into your pond like that. And uh, yeah, I guess we're ready for the water wheel now. I actually haven't memorized the design for the water wheel, so I better go and do that and then show you guys how to build it. Water wheel coming up. Do you know what? I'm actually going to just take away a little bit more of the ground like that. Now, the shaft of the water wheel, we want it coming through at that height there. It should be right in between these four spots. And then you can bring this into your build. And then, you know, it's up to you. Do some machinery. Use your imagination. I'm sure you can. Okay, so once we've done that, it's going to stick out just like that. Uh, let's go for dark oak fence. Oops, two of them. Like that, either side. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then we're going to go with dark oak planks there and there. That's pretty straightforward so far. And then dark oak stairs. One the right way up and one upside down. One and two like that pretty cool huh and then we just curve these ones in like that and in like that same with the ones above curve them in like that and like that so we should have that shape so far then we're going to go for a full block of dark oak planks right there right there and i guess the same here as well full full block full block so you should have a shape that looks just like that let's concentrate on the bottom we bring it in, bring it in, and then we've got full block of dark oak planks there and then upside down either side. Okay, I'll just hold the camera there, let you see that. So it should be the same thing up here. So upside down, upside down like that. Full block in the middle of dark oak planks and then surrounded by the stairs like so now there is some dark oak trap doors one's going to go right there one there one there and i think we have one on the end there also and here oops and underneath there as well you can place one right there if it's deep into the water that will work that one folds down that one sits at the end and then over here is just enough room there now what i have actually done is bring this kind of shape so i've got some temporary blocks here and i'm going to bring this along here and this is going to be my sluice this is where my water comes from so the water for a water wheel comes along the top of the water wheel whooshes along here whacks into there and pushes it so actually I'm gonna do that as well and then I'm gonna do that and that's gonna be my sluice and you can fill that up with water can't you you can grab your water block or your water bucket and I think if you do hmm no that <laughs> that doesn't work I knew that was gonna happen that doesn't work um, I guess if you do 
Maybe that it starts to flow along towards there. That's pretty good. That is your sluice gate like that. And you could just replace that block like that. So as long as it's flowing from here into your water wheel, it looks pretty good. Let's go and have a look at it in situ. So here we are with shaders on in Java Edition, and it does look good. As you can see, we've got my little sluice here bringing water down out the hills to power the water wheel. Don't forget to add in plenty of vines to bring your build to life. I've hung down some glow berries. I've put some oak leaves, actually, as you can see, right into the campfires. That looks pretty good. Little water trough down there, super simple. Couple of plants. The villagers have come to see what's going on. Uh, this one's absolutely fascinated by the well. I've got a little wood store at the back. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Build a better wood store and then as you can see if you bring some terrain around the back of your build it helps the back of the build to be not so plain i think as well and of course you can add in more bushes as well you can do things like that and bring the bushes up and through your build it doesn't actually look too bad does it um oh an alternative um chimney mud bricks i think looks absolutely fantastic i think i put mud bricks into the thumbnail of this video so i do apologize if you want to build your chimney out of mud bricks that's what it looks like as well cobblestone obviously looks pretty good as well but there we go we are complete with this build guys if you want to download it you can as a schematic or a lightmatic join my <laughs> we have a bit of a tree in here i wondered why there was a bush on the other side that's awesome. We have a tree right inside the build. What was that your fault? I reckon that was your fault, dude. Hmm. Definitely his fault. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Download the build as Schematic or Lightmatic by joining my Patreon or YouTube channel member. Lots of other builds and worlds and kingdoms on there. And uh, join my Discord because you'll be able to show me if you build this. Discord.gg forward slash Andy is Yoda. Take care. Bye bye.